Welcome back to the Black Parade. So it turns out the Majors didn't want to have anything to do with me, so uh, we stole their magical artifacts, the third of the ones needed, so we can, I guess, do a DIY exorcism or whatever. Um, which I guess is what's going to be coming up next. I just wanted to say, just in hindsight on this mission, it's like, the way it started, where you've just got to break in and basic, not quite not be seen, it's not quite you have to be fully ghosted. But, you know, you don't knock out anybody, don't don't attack anybody, don't steal anything until you've spoken to the uh, the Archmage. Um, which is good. It's, uh, I liked it because it's a good way to get the... I mean, you can't do it for every mission. But, like, one of the problems with, like, especially is not so much with the original Thief missions because they're a lot less open ended in this construction. Uh, Thief 2 ones, it is more of a problem with, but Thief 1 missions are, um, I mean, you, there is a lot of wandering, but there's a per perennial problem with uh, Thief missions and it gets worse the more open ended mission is, where players want to say, well, I don't want to do any objectives because I'm afraid that's going to trigger something to happen, so I'm going to go and, you know, spend hours crawling the map for loot, clearing out all the guards and stuff, and then you come to do the objectives and there's... Oh, the map is now empty. Um, and it's kind of... It's a, it's, 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 it's a awkward thing in terms of trying to build uh, any kind of, like, drama into a single mission. Um, Obviously, linear missions can get away with, uh, don't really have this problem because a linear mission, the drama is kind of built into your progression through the space of the mission. But obviously, linear missions have a lot of downsides, and Thief is, was never about linear missions. Um, so this is, an, this is an interesting way, and I really, I appreciated this as a way of getting you focused on your objective first, on the primary objective first, which is Hume's primary objective first. And then, I mean, it was obvious that some of those were going to be relaxed, that something was going to happen, but I, it wasn't, you know, my prediction was that he was going to be in on the whole necromancy thing, but no, apparently not. Uh, so I had that wrong. Um, but, uh, yeah, get you, get you focused on the objective first, get you doing that first, and the whole, don't steal valuables, there's just a lovely bit of gentle player trolling is like you see all this loot as you go past it's like eh, I've got to hold my hands back from from grabbing that um and then of course it's, it gets relaxed and you say yahoo I can go and steal every fucking thing um that's great so yeah I love I, in terms of all the missions so far this one I think did the best in mission drama simply because I think this is the only one that really tried to do wrong in mission drama um, the others you know any drama that happens is kind of you know you versus the guards versus alarms and stuff kind of emergent stuff I mean I do appreciate the story drama coming in and and having some some effect during mission not just in the between mission cutscenes anyway uh, also, I fixed the stupid keybinds I had that tilted the camera left and right. I don't know why I ever had those on there. That's absolutely ridiculous. And uh, I apologize that uh, mission six, I think it was, that uh, for anyone who had to watch me uh, run through that last hour with a five degree tilt on the camera because I'd actually printed one of these keys and didn't realize there was even a thing. And oh my God, that's so embarrassing. It was only loot hunting at that point, so it's not really, uh, nothing really missed out. It didn't really affect anything. I was just trying to get the loot goal, but, you know, it's still, still quite ridiculous that, that uh, it happened, and it was all entirely my fault. Having these keybinds in, in this version, in this install of Thief, sometime, I didn't have them in Thief 2, I don't know why they were in here, but they were. Anyway. Speaking between mission cutscenes, let's see what the briefing is for the tenth and final mission. I mean, I guess my other prediction was that that whole dream thing that the guy wrote about about the kind of floating fortressy thing is what we're going to see in this final mission. 
Uh, but, you know, could it easily be wrong? Let's find out what the truth is. It was time for the profane to act. With anguish and dread, we could do nothing. But observe and chronicle. The conclusion of this deathly chapter. It's funny. I always saw myself elsewhere by the time my life would come to an end. I guess it's time to make things right while I can. Azaran has started a ritual of some kind. I can feel it in my bones. I don't have much time left. I need to use the artifacts on that statuette. They should, hopefully, deflect the spell and put an end to this madness. I have no idea if this will even work, but I don't want to waste the last hours I have doing nothing. My strength is falling away as fast as those hammer gears turn. But I am determined to see this through. Let's go. It's really odd for him to use a hammer right metaphor there. At least to me. Um, this is it. If the treacherous keepers can be trusted in their translation of Bob Dio's tablets, you hope that the three mage artifacts you possess will sever your accursed brand. Use them on the statuette. Why are the keepers treacherous? They haven't done anything against Hume, have they? In this campaign? Well, I don't know. He's probably not in a trusting mood. Uh, in a mood to trust anyone that is right now. Let's let's go. Let's. Sounds easy. Just just throw the things at the thing, and it'll be sunshine and happiness. Right? Loading. Coffee time. Hmm. And of course, as soon as I say that, <laughs> it finishes. All right, we have ritual instructions. A scroll found after you returned from Highwatch Castle in the place that you hid a book TR's tablets. I guess the keepers swapped them out. It contains translated instructions for disrupting a ritual that the tablets described. We have the three artifacts, supposedly imbued with necromancy and nulling magic. You would hope the mages would handle this themselves and are unsure how to remove your brand using them, so we'll have to follow the instructions, I guess. Otherwise, we have some equipment and quite a lot of money. Um, let's start off with some essentials. I like mines. The things we got. Two ropes is pretty good. Broadheads I don't need. Let's grab another moss. Grab some more water. I don't really know what I'm, I'm up against here. In any way. Do I want a spirit potion? No, because I... I I just still don't understand how they use how they effective and it's too late to learn. <laughs> Do I want holy water? Maybe. Maybe it's good to get one. No, it's two hundred. I let's get more water arrows and I can get a fire arrow instead. No, I can't. It's fire is three hundred. Well, fire arrows are cheaper than mine, you know. Might be worth grabbing fire arrows instead of mines. I don't know. Ten waters, two fires, two mines. This is actually seems like a pretty good loadout for most problems I might run into. Oh, we start in the uh, ruined manor. Already, that's that's good. Um, where was the idol? What's the problem? It was upstairs, right? Wasn't it? 
Was it this room? I think. It would be nice if it was marked on the map for this mission, because, like, uh... You have no idea what you're doing, do you? No. You raided their holy places and invaded their stronghold. Convinced that theft would be your salvation. You have staggered through your miserable life using deceit and violence. Always as the pawn of another. Cast aside by secluded scholars and criminal scum alike. Perpetually dangling from someone else's strings. You don't even know whose schemes you're truly serving now. Yeah, do you want to enlighten me or do you just want to taunt me? Ha, huh, there was a red figure there that I can't see now. That's interesting. I mean, I guess we should be on mission, right? There's no reason to collect loot if we're not going to have a chance to spend it again. <sighs> oh, that's all been boarded up. I guess I can't go that way. I guess we got in through the coal scuttle this time. Coal shoot this time. Scuttle. Let's see if there's anything happening up here, right? Because. Now, this is where the figure was, but I'm not there anymore, so we can put out some lights, make this place a little safe to navigate. Maybe. What's this? This is new. I don't know why I got the zombies there. So it's like, aren't these gates new? Is this the gates they were talking about that were sealed? One of the major's notes mentioned them, I guess. Are they still sealed? Take that though, that's nice. Something doesn't seem to open to my fingers, so onwards. Well, nobody seems to be here, so if they're performing the ritual, then I don't know where. Oh. I don't know where they're doing it. I just saw. I recognize that. We saw that down in the tombs. So what is going on here? I don't think there's anything I need in that room. Can't remember where the way's up from the basement were. Maybe through that cliff door. Probably not in the privy here. Yeah, I thought it was just a weird goat skull or something when we came here last time. Now I know what it is, but now I know better. Alright, let's get up to the kitchen. Okay. And the kitchen was down here, right? Yeah. So we just need to head... well, we need to head up the floor and then head west. Zombies won't be a problem, but we don't know what else is happening. Adepts, your work towards ensuring the safety of the ceremony is satisfactory. Our servants made their way into the inner sanctum and keep its guardians away. However, we cannot risk further interference. Those of you who do not join the procession shall secure the mansion by raising as many servants as possible and sealing the entrances. 
When the ritual is complete, we shall descend upon our conceited brethren at Highwatch Castle. Savor their defeat. It will be a mere appetizer to our long-awaited vengeance against the scum of our traitorous homeland. Azaran. Oh, it's... It is daylight. <laughs> oh, where was it? Did I take your water crystal? Sorry about that. I didn't realize you were using it. Okay, so it's light in this mansion now when it was dark previously. Alright, we can get up here. Next to the magic of rope arrows. I don't remember what was behind this door. It was just a bedroom, wasn't it? Right, had the necromancy books. Probably nothing for us, right? Observation 87. I have many theories as to what the statuette really is, the most plausible being that it is a sort of container for living beings at the expense of others, somewhat akin to a funerary urn, except it carries actual living beings instead of ashes, and that the beings inside it can be reconstructed later. I have, however, not the faintest idea how this item acquired sentience, and a particularly vicious kind of sentience at that. It could be because the way it works is itself rather vicious, having to kill at least one creature to store others inside it. Kekim thinks it is a real, primordial creature, but I find his theory far-fetched. It possesses all the signs of a device created by a powerful mage of yore. In any case, it is interesting to note that Tatiana's flowers did not really seem to have any particular effect on the item's personality, if not at all but it did predictably affect how it behaved on a purely technical level, with easier access to its functions. This reinforces my theory that this statuette is man-made. Do not forget to retrieve those books from my lab in the spire. Okay, maybe we should be making a trip to the lab in the spire ourselves. Let's go slowly on the noisy floor. Trying to avoid the holes in the floor that I can barely see. Where is the spire? There is a spire in the... Oh, oh, maybe they mean the necromancer spire. The necromancer spire in Dayport. There's no spire on this house. That's cute. Zombie got the tires, so he just sat down. Or maybe it's just a corpse, I don't know. Wouldn't want to bet on uh, it being just a corpse. This, this is a noisy floor, right? I believe it is. At the moment, it doesn't seem like a good time to test that theory. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, something's up. Something's up over there. Was there someone hanging there before? I don't think so. Almost fell through the hole. I just saw a dark corner and didn't look down. Oh, he's not dead. What the fuck? Okay. That was not that was unexpected. Oh shit, I'm all the way back here. I'm not being quick saving. Uh yeah, that that took me by surprise. And killed me extremely rapidly. Okay, was there anything in here besides the book? No, right? Oh, there's these books I didn't read. I think they're the books we had here before. Yeah, we read that one. Um, <clears throat> yes, we read that one too. That rings a bell. Yeah, yeah, the whole being naked in the rituals. Okay.
Good work, Hume. Good work. I didn't take any fall damage or make any noise, so I guess it's about as, as good an accidental <gasps> dumble as you could ask for. Let's remember to quick save now. And let's be careful of things that seem to be dead. I mean, I guess I should have known better, right? It's like... There's, uh... Raise as many things as possible. So any anything that looks... Like it might actually be a... A corpse probably is. I don't have any reason to go into this room, right? I don't see anything I need here, so... That was pretty funny. Pretty pretty good... Pretty good, uh... Surprise. Do I want to go over the top, actually? That might be better. It's less... Less noisy floor, right? Let me get up. Where's this... Where's this floor? Just... Just chilling there. That's not a dark spot, that's a hole. Important technical difference. <sighs> oh, you know what? Might be better to even go... Oh, yeah. Shouldn't be too many dead things up at this level, right in the rafters. I hope. Oh, well. Oh, this isn't gonna be actual. This isn't rafters. This is. Just a way through where I think the door was maybe shut before. Okay, well, there's somebody up here. Is that a spider? That's a spider. That's an undead spider. For sure. It might not be, but I'm, I certainly don't trust it. West. West. Through there. I think that's where I need to be, but that's at least a barricade. I wonder if that's going to come off. See, there's the problem now. I don't know what's viable and what's not. Um... We're, we're above. I don't know where we are. Well, it's just a hole. I don't remember where the idol was. Was this this is the room with the idol, okay. I don't remember this being a way in before. Okay, well we can rip down I guess. Leave the rope? I don't want to leave the rope. Okay, the doors are locked, right? <gasps> Can I make it down onto that? I can try. I mean, that's not that's not a good try there, Hume. Ah! That's not a good try either. Why don't we just grab it and mantle it? But maybe that's just not a good idea. Maybe.
Here's what I can do. Let's put a rope in that beam. We can leap onto that. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's an awkward leap the distance. Uh, it's, that's that's kept, that's falling off the beam. I'm doing really well. I'm off to an excellent start here. Let's I'm not falling off the beam. No. Maybe I should run up onto it. It feels like it's a bit too far for a running for just a running drop, but I guess I should try it. No, okay, that's fine. Okay, we got here. We're not dead in this timeline. I wonder what our creepy friend here is going to have to say. Or if he's going to do some more taunting. You know what? I don't want to stand between him and the door. I think that could be a very bad idea. Hello there. Also, programmers don't want to stand where he's looking at me. All right, let's read these instructions. I trust you are under no misapprehension about keeping above Dio's tablets. Their scholastic importance cannot be understated. As the proud man you are, I am sure you will appreciate the contribution you have made to the future with its discovery. By the time you read this, you will no doubt have been rejected by the scented conjurers as foretold. This small omission I do feel a pang of guilt for. I remain uncertain that telling you would have affected anything. This must seem a betrayal. Understandable. I hope our translation acts as some small balm for your trouble. Farewell. Okay, Phlegmat, Sanguine, Choleric, and Melanch. In addition to souls, ritual ex requires exact amounts of each of the four flesh materials. The primary division of light counters the primary combination of flesh, red, blue, yellow. These quantities are given in cryptic format, parables of weather and animal breeding cycles. Further research required. Guys, this is useless gibberish. This isn't instructions, this doesn't tell me how to do anything. I don't know, what do I do? Just rub this, the artifacts on his face, I guess? Baptiar in his final moments. His magic cannot defeat me, no matter what baubles are used. How exactly did you plan to sever your brand? Mm -hmm. But don't lose hope. Perhaps the spell being channeled inside me is the true source of your curse. Why don't you see for yourself? Um... Where are we now? This can't all be for nothing. Explore this strange place and locate Azaran the Cruel. If he is using souls branded by the stat statuette in his spell, surely he is the source of your curse. Okay, do we have a map of this place? Of course not. What a silly question. Hello, we've got some tools. Who left those there for us? Azaran's safety measures, okay. Things are not going as planned, and I don't know if it's due to the ritual taking longer than expected or us underestimating the threat. Our defenders should have scared off the denizens of this realm for the time of the ceremony, but we are increasingly facing attacks just like during our first expeditions. The master will no doubt be safe, guarded by his protector, as well as the magical barrier that only his most trusted disciples have the keys to shut down. But for mere adepts like us, there is no last, no salvation should our last defenses fall. Okay, these are attacks from the denizens of this realm. What is this realm and where? And why are there creepy holes for things to crawl out of that I can't crawl into? Well, I guess we... 
press on. Don't really have any other options right now, just forward, upward. Squeeze through this narrow. No, I can't squeeze through that narrow gap. I'll squeeze through this narrow gap. There has to be a way. Azaran. He's the cause of all this. I have to stop his ritual. Well, there is this kind of fortressy place, but it looks more gothic than what I was expecting. Oh, is that a bat? That's probably hostile. Oh, there's someone else there too. Or something else? Maybe two things? Hmm. Despite being kind of having a load out of combat, I didn't bring any holy water. I mean, I got the one, I suppose. Is it any good? I mean, these things are not... Oh, is that just a guard? Oh, that's a mage. I guess it's maybe an undead guard, and those are just like sentinels to guard the place. I don't have a ton of water arrows, I don't want to be putting out random fires here unless I need to. So that maybe a way in? I'm wondering if there's a way down to ground level or not. Alright, no, unclear. I mean, maybe yes, it looks like getting down here might be possible. Not sure about getting back up. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that thing? Uh, it's like some... <sighs> giant mutant tentacle... Beetle that goes invisible in darkness. Great. I think I don't want to go down there, actually. Maybe I'll change my mind about ground level. You know? Ground level's maybe not the place to be. But now here we've just got these fellas. Oh, I'm putting one right here I didn't see. There's a lot of these fellas. Ponytail. Can I get up? Hmm. I'm going to try getting up the stairs to the left. There's another guy there as well. Let's see. <sighs> Some kind of guy right there. And this other guy coming back. I mean, if they're just zombies, if I'm like, not getting stuck on geometry, I'm just completely stuck on the geometry here. Can't move, can't lean, can't use it. The unstick key is not working. Yeah, hello. You're gonna have to kill me. No, you're just gonna look at me. Okay, this. I don't think I've ever got stuck like this before on just plain old terrain in this game. Well, let's reload. Okay, let's, I still want to try this plan, right? <sighs> Maybe stay away from that there? I don't know. Shit. Shit, not so dear. Well, uh... 
successful. I wonder what that place is up there. Can't see any enemies right here, so let's move quickly to the next shadow. Oh, I love that. That sounds like mage footsteps. Which is Slightly promising. I'm sure we're going to have to go in the middle sometime, right? What was a lot about? Something was squidging. Liraja, 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 Clone of Moon, Mox Muscus Quaid, La Mala, O Profalina, La Saucy Domus, La Ariscring Pergnalt, S Latte Lucasia. Yeah, I could do with a Latte Lucasia right now. And why am I coming in here? I guess that's what was. Guess that's what was squidging this stuff. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's a stairway there. You just not seem to be coming all the way up here. What are these weird red pulsating tentacles? Oops. Oh. That was a spectral figure of some kind. Room where I got killed before, I don't remember. If that maze comes back in here, I can maybe knock him out and it'll be. Although, I guess what I need to do is find out where I'm going, right? Why am I checking my map? What I've ridiculous thing to do. This is just where I came in right before. Yes, but now I can maybe move around behind this guy. We have some kind of summoning circle here, right? Or maybe that's just fancy floor tile, I can't tell. Am I supposed to know the difference? If it's a summoning circle, it's on, like, the western side, right? Uh. This was stairs up. Mortal 
the ancient times and rituals of the sound in days gone by, thus they are in the library hall. Sun symbol thing and a force field, okay. Stairs up to sun circle block. I guess that's a magical field that's protecting us around. There's an upper floor. Oh, there is wood there. You know what? I was going to say that's all stone, but no, that's, that's wood on the ceiling. Is it safe? Probably not. <laughs> See how excited he seemed. Two of them, I don't want to spend two. Who goes there? Nobody. At least it's not what I thought it was. Hopefully. What am I doing? Find us around, I suppose. Oh, my rope arrow back. <sighs> ah! No, I did not want to mantle right over the damn thing. Why do you build your. Why do you build such tiny, thin ledges? I know the price of dealing with. Black magic, but hallucinations, so soon. <laughs> That's a good line. Well, I can maybe do a jump onto it that will be quiet from here, actually. We jump straight onto this bit. Rather than fight a man for shit. Being thin, it's okay. Don't know if anybody heard my clatter. Yeah, some fast footsteps there. You can hide in shadow among the shadow masters. You fools. Going up, get out. This I is no tech light course, you know. How about you come out before I use it? Shit. this well good thing there's no objective thing don't kill anyone because uh, I don't really have many other options at that point I'm more concerned about these other things coming you know what maybe that rope should stay there so I have a getaway <laughs> One of those goes on a healing potion, you too. You earned yourself a place among our slaves, thief. This guy had the healing potion, right? Yeah. Get the guy downstairs. Let's give an up searching. 
and that guy seems to be going away. Do you have anything? No. I'll just check the others to see if they've got any kind of equipment on them. No. We can do our own little ritual with these bodies. Alright. The risk of making a horrible clatter again, I'm gonna get my rope back again. Window full of blood, because it's all these statues. Oh, yeah. Giant face watching this entrance and a giant eye watching it from above. You know what? Who knows if any of that stuff is magically functional? Let's try. <sighs> Bypassing. Oh. I think we've only got statues with skulls on their heads. Less creepiness. Oh, stairs up there. Up is probably where we need to go. <gasps> this room. What is that? Hey, it's a thing without a head. I mean, a guard was out ahead, but... Stopping to look out the window. You don't have a head, you can't look out the window, you... Silly zombie. It's probably Benny, because Benny always loses his head and seems to do pretty well without it. Oh, just some pulsating thing. There's another one of these marks. By a weird scully. Is that even a door or is it just a decoration? Big fireplace. I think I want to go up this way. Maybe. Glimpse of me there. Oh. Well, we've got a lot of things here. That looks like a wooden beam as well. I maybe could have roped up to it, but. We're here now. As long as you aren't coming this way, he's coming this way. No? Where did he go then? <coughs> Hello there, mage. Wait, speaking of wood, that's wood, right? I can I can just rip up that. <coughs> I can just rip up there and miss the whole down rope. to jump right past the boat. Ah, that's a mage. He's got something on his... No, it's not a mage. It's an undead sort of guy. He's got something on his belt, which maybe I should try and get. Probably a magical thing, because there's a whole... Clawing atmosphere and never in a shape. It is a mage, right? He said only his adepts had the keys. One strange key, okay. Did I get my rope back? Yes. There's more of those 
things. I don't want to step on them. I feel like they'll just like be. <sighs> Our steel's exploding with like blood or something that poisons me. Who knows? I don't really trust anything in this place. And who would? This is big and confusing and I have no idea where I'm going or why. I guess I'm gonna go through this window because I don't know any other way to go. <gasps> Moss arrows? Moss here? I didn't place that. Has... Did Garrett come here before me? Garrett wouldn't put moss on this stone. He knows it's a quiet surface. Footsteps. We have wobbly sounds. I thought I heard mage footsteps from around here too. Oh, that just appeared. It's one of those things. Even know what you would call it. What is that down there? Flash bomb, speed potion, and this thing here waiting and lying in wait. You know what? We gotta do some science, right? I'm gonna get back out again. It's not wood. Need the stuff? Probably not. Do I want to get it? Sure. I mean, trade a water arrow for it. Actually, for stuff I don't need. Maybe a bad trade. I don't know. Flash bombs. That's four of them now. Flash bombs do damage against these kinds of guys, don't they? Oh, I said I wanted to do science. What does that thing do if it sees us? What does it do if we shoot it? Oh, he only knows melee attacks. Oh, I can't get out here. Shit. Probably a bad idea. How did he even fit under there? damage from that. Does it take damage from flash bombs? No. Does it take damage from holy water? Probably, right? This is a science. This is not real. Nope. It's not undead. It's just weird. Mines didn't set off the mines. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, I don't think we can kill it. I didn't think we could anyway. It's that kind of creature that doesn't feel 
particularly killable in the first place, but... came from? No, it was lower down. It's another fucked up stairway. Can I make this jump? Oh, I see the fucked up stairway. Could go higher. <laughs> it blinks. Can't I can't get to that, can I? Ah. I think I would need a crate for that. I mean it might just barely be possible. Nothing, guys. Just to just, uh, just be clank. Wait, that guy's also got a key to pick up, right? <sighs> Get out! This is no place for you. Wait, is that the guy I already picked? That's the guy I already picked up. It's just shit. I'm getting out. Oh, he's not very good at chasing, is he? That's a surprise. This way. You cannot escape. What can I murder you? <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. Now let's try avoiding that class at this time. Is this guy coming down here anyway? He is. <sighs> I can't do anything with this rotten shape. That guy must be the guy we already pickpocketed. Oh, I was going downstairs, okay. Coast is clear <sighs> for now. Escape route, but not a good one. Oh, 
Oh, where am I? Where am I even going? What, what am I even trying to do here? So the problem is I don't have answer to that question. Just wandering this maze-like fortress blindly, looking for. I have no idea what to do. I have no idea what. This feels like Peg Street again, actually, to be quite honest with you. Oh shit, he's on me. Seem to be happier spending them. Okay, so he comes down from there, so I can probably go up there, right? Same both ways. Big flamey. Oh, there's another big blinking eye. My impression of that great boy was it's a giant blue worm wearing headphones, which is maybe you know what they're going for. <sighs> okay. These blinking ID cells. I don't know. Cutely retro. I feel. Uh... What is that thing? That looks important. Well, maybe we should wait until next episode to find out what that thing is and just uh, sit here and uh, stare at the eyes. It's been an hour, so I guess maybe next episode I'll figure out what where I'm trying to go and what I'm trying to do. Maybe, maybe, find out next time.